All right, so that's a one half of trying to describe the mechanics of all of this uh, in terms of this tiny fluid element. Now, that only takes care of uh, one side. It takes care of only one side of Newton's law equation. I have to know how to handle the other side, the one that has a force. Because you know this is what you see. Um, when you are applying some amount of force, let me get this out of the way. Oops, ah. All right, that's good enough. Uh, sorry, I meant to get this out of the way, but you, all right. Uh, put it here. I might need more water. I, I don't know how to increase the amount of water with that. All right, uh, let me just stop it here. <laughs> um, so, so, you know, imagine lifting this mass here. And hopefully your intuition tells you that uh, how much force you have to exert to lift this up, to lift some amount of water, it's different depending on uh, how much water you are lifting, right? So, um, so you know, if you are using a bigger piece, oops, I didn't get a bar. Um, all right. Okay. So if you are lifting a, a bigger amount of water, then um, then um, then you know, as I lift this up because I'm uh, lifting bigger amount of water, the force I have to exert is bigger um, than if I lift this smaller piece, lifting the smaller amount of water. Then the amount of force I have to exert to lift this amount of water is smaller, right? So, so we, if we try to describe this in terms of force, we are going to have the exact same problem we did with the mass. So we have to do the kind of the same thing that we did with the mass, where we imagine breaking this entire mass down into tiny little pieces so that we can describe the mechanics of this uh, small fluid element. Now, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to describe the amount of force on this uh, small fluid element. And I guess the easiest way to think about it is, uh, think about it in terms of this entire container. So as I lift this container, I am applying some amount of force, right? You can kind of see it there, about 100 Newtons. So I guess this is the question I could ask. How should I be dividing that 100 Newtons? Do I divide that 100 Newtons per, um, 100 Newtons per you know, volume of the mass? 100 newtons per something, right? And um, once again, because it's easier for me to just give you the answer, let me give you the answer. The way we divide up that force is we divide it up by this, we divide it up by this cross-sectional area. So it's not force per entire volume, it's a force per the cross-sectional area that'll give you some a way of describing mechanics of, the, of this flu fluid in terms of this little fluid element. So let me write that down. That's uh, going to give us the definition of pressure. Pressure in physics, not you know social science or whatever, is defined this way. It's uh, defined as amount of force per area. So imagine you have, um, I guess, um, hmm. um, Im imagine you want to describe how much force is needed to have this um, element of what, uh, fluid suspended in fluid then what you do is, all right, let's figure out the bottom surface area. And if I know the pressure, so let's say I know the area here, 
dA is the dx times dy. That's my sort of area of this element. And if I know the pressure down here, if I know pressure, um, let me just call it capital P, then I can relate this pressure to the amount of force on, this, uh, on the bottom surface of this element. I can say on this object, there is an upward force. There is an upward force that can be described as uh, pressure times the area. So this is how we um, describe sort of the infinitesimal um, aspects of fluid. So that at any given time, we can imagine taking the fluid, breaking it up into small, you know, smaller piece that we need to analyze it. And then we can describe, the, if we know the pressure, then for each one of these elements, we can describe the amount of, um, amount of force on it by taking the pressure and multiplying it by area. And once you know the force, and once you know the mass from knowing the density, then you can, um, you can talk about Newton's law for this little tiny element. You can say, you know, I mean, trying to use Newton's law, you could have say the you know, net force on that element is the amount of mass times acceleration, and this can be rewritten in terms of the pressure and area. So you know, the left-hand side would look like the force would be pressure times the area element, and the right-hand side would be you know, this, density times the volume element times area. And you know, we are not going to do much with it, except for maybe toward, uh, at some time during the lab section when we um, go over Bernoulli's principle or some kind of a derivation of Bernoulli's principle. But, um, so this is the approach to dealing with fluid. If you ever had to actually deal with it, this is uh, the, the basic mechanical approach to it.